sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well, and keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet fall. Oh shit. <laughs> you sure you want to stay here the night? Because I don't bloody want to stay here the night. I don't even stay the night. Yeah, this is going to be I just don't pleasant. feel safe going to sleep yet. I don't blame you. Let's have a quick look. What's in there? Cracked mirror. Nothing of interest here. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Either way, the door's bolted. So. Let us go to sleep. I just don't feel safe going to sleep yet. Why the hell not? Some doors you can count will be bolted on one side. Action the bolt to unlock or lock the door. Door bolts can come useful in escaping from enemies. I know. And that's why I bolted the door. Can I go to sleep now? I just don't feel safe going to sleep yet. Okay. Better? Better. Not exactly safe, but the best I'm gonna get in this infernal town. By the way, expect me to die um, a lot in what's gonna come up. For people who played this, you know exactly what's about to happen. So, let's make it interesting. February 7th, 1922. Early evening. Innsmouth turned out to be more dilapidated, depressed, and unwelcoming than initially expected. A stench of rotten fish fills the air, while poverty and disease lay festering in every cobbled back street. Only a few of the inhabitants have been all at all cooperative. The others are invasive, and some are downright hostile. My detective instincts tell me they're trying to hide something. Really? Oh. Of course, I could simply be prejudiced by their look and manners. They're almost ugly enough to get me believing the local tales of the Innsmouth taint. Even so, I've been able to make some progress. Finding Ruth Billingham was a local... Eh, local? Lucky break. She convinced lover boys still in one piece and being held in the town jailhouse. Rebecca Lawrence is clearly afraid of something. She doesn't come across as the type that scares easy. But then, I guess she's not afraid enough to leave. She seems more worried about... Not afraid enough to leave, yeah. She seems more worried about me. Then there's Zadok Allen, the old rummy. He's willing to talk, alright. I wish I knew whether he turned to drink because of what he saw, and whether he saw things because he was drinking. Sadly, it was the former. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. The Order of Dagon seems so is some heathen religion brought back from the South Seas by Obed Marsh. Rituals on Devil's Reef. Those who couldn't join Massacre by some kind of monster in 1846. It's all so far-fetched. What else could explain the thing that charged out from Thomas Waite's attic? If I hadn't spoken with Thomas himself, I'm sure I'd be seeing things. Whatever's really going on, this place gives me the creeps. The dreams are becoming stronger. I seem to spend each night in a weird, fantastic landscapes, with immense buildings like no architecture I've ever seen. And my body in the dreams, it's, it's so strange, I can't begin to describe it. Maybe it's some buried memory of the occult stuff I studied when I... <sighs> wasn't myself. And this spooky vision thing is acting out worse than ever. Used to be. I could... There, sorry. Used to be, I could see some kind of... I could... There. Damn it. Used to be, I could see kind of see... I could kind of see what... Oh, I'm doing this really badly. I kind of see what people were thinking sometimes, but now it's going crazy. It's like someone's watching me all the time, tracking me from the rooftops and shadows. I'm so edgy I could barely hardly... Shrink. I'm so edgy I can hardly think straight. I think I could get some decent bourbon in this miserable town. Yeah, because you only gave the bourbon to the drunk. Yeah. Anyway. I need to track down Brian Burnham fast. The sooner I get out of here, the better. I'll make an early start in the morning. Oh, really? Well, unfortunately, I think plans are going to be sidetracked. What's the point in giving us all that text when you have literally half a second to read it? That's not very helpful. What's that noise? The great city of Nakotas. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand you in time. Gilman, where have you put the outsider? The 
top of the house. Room 401. Charlie, you bastard. Oh, let's have it. Got a problem. Attack of the Fishmen. Here we go. Innsmouth isn't a safe place to be for an outsider. Ex like I said, expect me to die an awful lot. Come on, Jack. Trying to get in. For the love of God, faster! Faster! Ah, oh, crap! Ah! Uh, ah, oh, I didn't do it! Oh no! I forgot to bolt the, t the last door. Yeah, whoops. Anyway, let's try again, shall we? Boy, did that make me jump. Damn, let me skip this. If I fail again, what I'll have to do, I'll stop the video, I'll do it, and then... Well, I'll not, tell you what, I'll keep recording, but I'll edit it out. Uh, maybe keep it for an outtakes. Move! What? Oh, what? Oh. Damn it. This isn't going too well. Uh, 